Hello everybody, so today I want to talk about a little bit uh, of a trick you can use to pull nails out with a hammer. And this is really useful in tricky situations like say if you're up on a ladder or maybe you're up on a roof um, or you're trying to pull a nail out without disturbing the framing underneath. Um, I've got the hammer situated, but here's a nail, by the way, this is a framing nail shot with a uh, air nailer and I left it sticking out a little bit. Um, and this is in rough sawn uh, green uh, pine, which is very sticky, very sappy. It's hard to get nails out of this. And this is the typical way you you put the hammer to try and pull out that nail. And of course you put your leverage up here on the hammer shaft and pull. And uh, that works fine in many cases, but there are a lot of situations where, you know, if you're up on a ladder or you just, you know, you don't want to be violent when you're doing this, uh, it's just not a good way to pull nails out. There's too much effort required. There's too much motion and it can easily throw things out of whack or, you know, put you in danger if you're up on a ladder. So the way I like to pull out nails in those situations is to actually Turn the hammer like this, and I'm going to pull against the, the hammer handle that way. And in doing so, you know, when we do it this way, we're, we're fighting the resisting force of that nail basically across that length. When we turn the hammer this way, we're fighting that resisting force across the much smaller length, and that gives us more leverage. And so I'm going to pull that nail out and show you how it goes. And you can come back and get another bite. Keep working it out. And you can get the most difficult nails out in the most difficult situations very easily with this method. Now, you're probably not going to reuse that nail or even try and fix it. Um, and if this was fine, trim wood you wouldn't want to do that because you will mark up the wood but for rough framing and any situations where you need more control over pulling out the nail this works so much better and it's highly recommended so now i want to talk a little bit about the theory behind this and there's a little bit of math behind this that's pretty easy to follow so over here that's the hammer in the normal situation you'd put it and i've shown uh, a person applying a force up here and then a nail with some resistance R down there and I've sketched out the length of the hammerhead, the length of the handle and you can go through and do some math and show that the force you need to apply to the hammer handle uh, and this this is for a by the way my framing hammer it has about a 12 inch distance between the the uh, leverage point and where the, the grip would be. Um, when you're doing it that way, the force you need to apply is about one sixth of the resisting force of the nail. Now, when you come over and do it the other way that I just showed, and you turn the hammer sideways, that resisting force of the nail acts over a much smaller di distance and has much less leverage against you. And when you do the measurements that way and you work it out we only need one sixteenth of the resisting force to work that nail out. And that turns out to give us almost three times more leverage. So this is a really great way to remove nails. I, I pretty much use this method um, all the time, but it's especially useful if you're in some sort of precarious situation and you can't be horsing on that nail with a pry bar or the hammer, hammer in the normal orientation. Thanks for watching.